Hey everybody, this is Minion Soldier, and this is the Piracy Show. Now, the reason why I'm showing this footage here first is um, I wanted to discuss something that's coming in the next patch in Star Citizen, which is, of course, the bounty system. It has a lot of people excited because now it finally means that you can pay back all those griefers who've been ruining the game since day one, and the persistent are the baby pee. Now, of course, we all knew that this was going to happen, and we knew it for a long, long time. We, you know, they said right off the bat that you know, the reason why they were letting people grief like this is so that they could see what was happening, and then they could develop a system or refine the system that would allow players to punish negative behavior in the Star Citizen universe. Now. In other games, like GTA Online, of course, there is a bounty system, and you can just slap a bounty on someone, but you have to pay up front for that bounty, and there's no guarantee that you're going to get someone, and if the player actually wants to keep that bounty, all they have to do is leave that session, go out, pop into a crew-only session, and then just play out an hour, and they get to keep the bounty. And they can go do missions and all that, and they don't have to worry about it. But, you know, that's not exactly a perfect system, but at least it either gets rid of the player or it gets the player killed. But, there's some other things that, um, you know, when I'm playing GTA Online, there's some other things that I was like, you know what, you know what would be a good, a really good idea for the baby PU? And that would be the dynamic mission system that exists in GTA Online. The system that allows events to pop up on a server and you know right now it's like everyone is chasing for the briefcase and whoever gets the briefcase has to hold on to it for five minutes or so and then they get to you know they get money or something of that nature you know various achievements yada 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 but what I would like to see in the baby PU is dynamic missions all of a sudden being dropped into the area like let's say you know you're there you're you're in the crusader system and then all of a sudden you get an alert that says uh, van duel patrol in this area and all the players get that alert so that we can all just kind of surge out and attack that van duel patrol or you know van duel invading the korea station you know where you go to get the assault rifle and then we all just charge out there to, you know, go grab assault rifles and defend the station. Stuff like that, I think. Stuff like that. I, I mean, I'm not sure how hard that is to do, you know, given the current development cycle. But when I'm thinking about this game, and when I'm transitioning into this universe, that's kind of stuff that I would really like to see in the near future. And hopefully we will. I would love to see some dynamic missions spring up on the server because right now when I log into the baby PU I log in like this to get footage or I log in to just mess things mess around you know try things out look for things you know try to find new little odds and ends and apart from that like I'm never really on here for that long maybe I think the longest play session I've had on the baby PU is about an hour maybe an hour and a half and then I'm just like, okay, well, you know, there's just, you know, there's just, I, I want to be able to do more. You know, I kind of want to, I want to feel like I'm really in that universe. And when I'm playing GT online, I, you know, you really feel like you're there, but I, you know, I really hope that, you know, this bounty system is, is part of a larger mission system that, uh, allows us dynamic goals and uh, you know missions while we're playing in the baby pew more of, of like a hook you know to kind of keep us in that universe and to keep us immersed in that universe you know things of that nature or like you know escort you know the convoy and then there's a convoy from point A to point B you know just traveling at normal speed and there's random waves of Van Duel that are coming in and depending on the amount of ships that are there that you have to defend them and depending on the amount of ships that survive to the end you get a reward based on that things like that I think would be really cool and it'd be more of a hook to keep us 
in the baby pew and with the server populations supposedly going up to 24 now in the next patch i think it could allow for a lot more fun while playing in the baby pew rather than just kind of going like okay you know here i get to fly around on my ship my new ship it's really cool but the problem is is but what am i going to do with it you know I mean, I, I can't be the only one who feels this way. It's like, yeah, but I want to, you know, I want to do something with this ship, and, I, you know, I want more. I want some missions, you know. Now it's not, you know, a dig against CIG because obviously the game is still in very early alpha, and not everything is there. But I'm hoping that we get stuff like this soon because, I mean, that's the. It's that kind of stuff to me that makes the difference between like a 45 minute PlayStation uh, play session and a four hour play session or more. And that's something that I'd be really excited to see along with the lobby system. So you can guarantee to get yourself in with, you know, even say filling up an instance with all the members of your org and all going around and doing stuff together. I think that would be really, really cool, and that's some of the stuff that I'm hoping to see in the Baby PU in the near future, because I feel once that stuff kind of gets in there, it'll really kind of give us a reason to uh, to really kind of inhabit the Baby PU for m more as an inhabitant and less like a tourist, if you know what I mean. So anyways there's that the other thing that I wanted to talk about with the bounty system and um, obviously you know this is something that we had said time and time again way back when or not way back when just a few months ago when people started first complaining about the griefing on the server it's like no the griefing is awesome the griefing is what you want because it's telling CIG what to look for and what to you know basically punish but, you know, it just, it kept going on and on and on. And, you know, you would, you would talk about this and I would say stuff on the forums and in videos where I'd say, no, 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 this is what you want. Even if you hate PVP, even if you despise it, this is what you want right now because this is what's going to allow them to develop the system that punishes players for acts like that in the long term. This is what you want. Some people didn't really believe in that, but here it is, the first iteration of the bounty system. We're going to be able to play with this very, very soon. But it also opens up kind of a different idea and a different possibility, going back to what I was saying in a video a while ago as well, where, where I was saying piracy isn't going to be as bad as people think. And when you really look at the baby PU for what it is right now, I mean, the baby PU is a, you know, it's, it's a huge play area it's vast and the more players that we stick into this and once we start getting actual NPC ships in this remember it's supposed to be 90% NPCs 10% players so I mean realistically if you have 24 players then geez now I'm gonna force myself to do math You're basically close to uh, just under 240 NPCs right wait okay so if 24 players re would represent, you know, one tenth of the maximum, you know, amount of entities on that server, so it would be 240 would be, you know, the most. So then it would be 226 NPCs, 226 NPCs for 24 players. And when you think about it, like for pirates. You kind of want to maintain the easiest reputation you want if you want to be able to go into secure space. Now, if you're going off into like the least secure amount of space, right, or the least secure areas in the Star Citizen universe, then that's not so much a concern. But if you're going to be trying to be a pirate who lives in secure space, you're going to look for situations that you can tr contr uh, that you can control. You know, situations where um, you can block distress transmissions situations with more predictable outcomes and in, in that case you'd be attacking NPCs and you'd be leaving players alone right so I, I mean this goes back to you know, once again piracy won't be as bad as people think I really think that you know given this bounty system coming in that in the in the short term probably not gonna curb 
you know, PvP all that much, but in the long term, once there's missions, resources, and things to worry about like that, and actual NPCs populating this universe, then I think that the actual instances of, you know, player versus player violence is going to uh, sharply decline. And really the only areas that you'd have to worry about would be the least secure parts of space, which, I mean, frankly, if you're going in there, then it's to be expected anyways that you're at a higher risk. So I think with the bounty system and the possibility that, you know, we'll be getting, you know, actual NPCs truly populating this part of space and hopefully some dynamic missions coming up, hopefully, you know, I think that the baby PU is going to look a lot more like an actual place to live and a lot less like a tourist destination that's fun to visit from time to time. But overall, you know, after about an hour, you're like, okay, well, that was interesting, but I'm going to go do something else now. And, you know, one last thing to uh, consider, part of this whole, you know, dynamic universe reacting to the players thing is the economy is also supposed to react to players so if you think about it you know going back to i believe what was it tony zervek and chris roberts have both said is that if uh station a is you know waiting for iron shipments and they're sending npcs out and the npcs aren't getting through then the price of iron at that station is going to you know it's going to go up which for ordinary players means if you're delivering iron that drives your profit up and if it's the pirates who've been pirating all the npcs who've been trying to deliver iron then those pirates are actually increasing your profits so who knows there may actually be in you know somewhat high to mid security space there might be something of a symbiotic relationship to be had between pirates and normal pve players and possibly you know, certain agreements can be made between those groups that uh, would make players more or less immune to piracy, but at the same time, they could be informing on NPCs so that pirates can sweep in and get them. It could be uh, a mutually beneficial arrangement. Anyways, those are some things to think about, the beginnings of which I hope we are going to see very soon in the Star Citizen universe. I hope you enjoyed the show, and thanks for watching. Quantum Travel Initiated